Hey guys and welcome back. I have uh, tonight. Tonight I have for you a 5x54 uh, Fabrica de Tobacco's Casa Fernandez Aganorsa, and it's this one is a Maduro, and the extra Robusto. I am looking forward to this, so we'll uh, get it lit up and see what happens. Very nice feeling. Uh, pretty smooth, box pressed. Smells really good. <sighs> kind of like it just rained in a field of hay. That's what it smells like. It smells good. Looking forward to it. So, without further ado, we'll get into it here. Right off the bat, I'm getting a real light, not a lot of flavor on this first one. Just like regular tobacco so far. Uh, hopefully it'll wake it up a bit and we'll see what the uh, what it actually tastes like. So far I'm not getting much, even on the retro oil. Mm, a little bit of cedar. Smoke is pretty thin. Um, really smooth though. It hardly feels like I have any smoke in, in my mouth at all. Yeah, I just get a real light, like um, sawdust smell, taste, flavor, aroma. Okay guys, um, I'm only 15 minutes in here and I'm already to this first band here. Uh, pretty frustrating on the uh, amount of smoke time I'm getting out of this guy. It wasn't a real cheap smoke. No, it wasn't the most expensive, but it definitely wasn't on the cheap end either. So, I feel like I'm getting a little bit gypped here in the uh, smoke time. But it did um, even out a little bit, so at least it is smoking fine. Um, now that I'm actually able to taste some flavors out of it, what I'm getting is uh, like a smoked meat, um, like a almost like a teriyaki uh, beef jerky on the draw, and then just that same cedar woodsiness on the finish. Uh, I don't know if that's just because it's kind of constructed funky. There was definitely something packed wrong in that top part because one side just went. <laughs> and the other just did not so I did have to end up touching it up and uh, it evened out and it is smokable now you know when I would take a puff on it in this first little bit here you could actually watch it just go on one side so something definitely wasn't packed in there right but we'll keep going um, seems to be okay now and we'll see what we end up getting out of this guy. Not too great so far. Not real happy with it, but maybe it'll uh, be worth it in, in this last little bit here. So I'll keep going. Checking with you in a minute. Hey guys, about 25 minutes in here. Um, I'm happy to say that the burn time has slowed down significantly, and now we got a nice uh, razor sharp burn there. And uh, what I'm getting now that it's actually burning right. I don't know what the issue was with this first part here. Definitely something that happened at the factory. It was just packed too tight on one on one side and not enough on the other. Um, but anyway, now that I'm actually getting some real flavors out of this guy, I'm getting uh, some sweet bread on the draw and then a nice uh, cream soda on the, on the finish, which is kind of, I've never had that before. It's real subtle. The body on this guy isn't strong. Um, there is a bit of an underlying strength that I can feel just real just in, just enough to know it's there um, anyway I'm gonna keep going with this guy I'm super happy that it's smoking right now and uh, we'll see uh, what it ends up you know what else we get out of it we'll see what uh, we end up getting out of this guy okay guys this this guy is really not having a good night um, when I took off the band this piece of wrapper came off with it. Just too much glue on there. So I can pretty sure I can say without a doubt that I'm not too impressed with the uh, uh, construction of this guy. 
Anyway, the flavors are getting kind of washed out. I'm still getting that on occasion when everything is burning right. I'm getting that uh, sweet bread flavor. That cream soda just went away and it's just been replaced by um, like a charred wood flavor. I don't know if it's tunneling or, or what's going on, but um, that's what I'm getting out of it. Um, I can, I mean, if it gets much worse than this, I'm just going to chug it, but Every once in a while I get some really nice smooth smoke out of it. And while the flavors aren't real strong, they are decent. I just wish it was uh, more consistent. I just wish it was a little bit better constructed. Um, like I said, it wasn't a super cheap smoke, so I'm kind of disappointed with this guy. Anyway, I'll keep going. Hopefully I get more good puffs than uh, bad puffs and I can finish it out. Hey guys, I'm about 50 minutes in here, and I'm about to end it because uh, this thing is a hot fucking mess. I mean, <laughs> look at this goddamn thing. I don't even know how it's still smoking. Uh, the one good thing I can say about it is I think they stuck a little bit of Lajero here at the end, so I'm really getting a, a nice, strong um, tobacco buzz. Um, I'm going to keep puffing on it just for that reason because the flavors are all washed out and just that. Not there. Uh, Construction-wise, this guy it gets a. <clears throat> so, uh, definitely would not buy a box of these. The for the price, there is definitely something better um, between this and the uh, Drew Estate factory smoke that I smoked uh, a couple days ago. I think I'm due for a good one. I think I feel like I need to pull out a Padron or something uh, to make up for these pieces of shit. So, um, anyway, not impressed. Um, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.